back. It's Jermaine Morgan. I want to ask you a question today. What's the end goal for you? Why are you putting in so much work on your instrument? Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. Once again, guys, welcome back. In today's lesson, I want to talk to you about something that I often face, and I know a lot of uh, players face a lot of times in their music. You come to this place where you've really put in a lot of work, you've done a lot of practicing, and if you're not careful, you have to ask yourself, what exactly am I doing? What exactly am I going for? What's the end goal? What's the target here? What am I trying to accomplish? Because if you don't, you'll find yourself going in circles, and after a while, practice will become boring and feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again and if you're not careful you get the sense that you're not moving anywhere even though you're progressing and you're playing you'll get that sense that i'm not going anywhere so sometimes it's good to define goals and you're playing try to figure out where it is you're trying to go and try to figure out exactly what it is you're wanting to do and you're wanting to say in the music i talked a few weeks ago on recording yourself and kind of using something of that nature to hear yourself playing back creating composing music that's what you heard me doing here when i started this little groove and all i'm doing with this particular groove is i'm playing um that e minor and i'm playing the key of g by the way g major six seven one to four so i'm basically playing a simple progression for me and building off of that with melodies and things that I come up with in my head and just seeing how many ideas can I come up with and also paying attention while I'm playing to what ideas am I repeating that I do a lot that I kind of want to get away from all the while trying to remain expressive and trying to actually enjoy the music. Sometimes we become so technical with trying to do everything right that we take the fun out of enjoying the music. Now my thing is trying to actually enjoy the music that I'm playing but also being aware of what it is I'm playing, certain things that I'm doing that I'm not liking or certain things that I am overly using, being aware of those type of things and trying to figure out ways that I can kind of adjust while I'm playing but not losing interest in what it is I'm doing. So I know that's a lot being said. I'll, I'll try to kind of walk you through my process as I'm listening. <laughs> So the natural reaction for me would be to go minor pentatonic first off. So if that's my natural thing, naturally I'm going to try to stay away from that and try to figure out a melodic idea that maybe pulls from that a little bit, but not all the way goes minor pentatonic. I may take a phrase and repeat that phrase or flip some things about it and see how many things I can build. And I, I want, most of the time when I start uh, soloing or when I start building ideas, I won't come out of the gate just trying to rip and seeing how fast I can run or all of this type of stuff that, that you hear a lot of cats do. But for me, I'm a little uh, different as it pertains to conversation. Um, if I'm thinking about a conversation that I'm having with somebody, more than likely I'm not going to start out talking 90 miles per hour. I'm going to ease into it and work my way up to the point that I'm trying to make. And as I begin to build on the conversation, I'll continue to let it grow to something as opposed to just stepping, you know, stepping out of the gate with that. I try not to do that uh, in most cases. And this is uh, mainly kind of how I write music as well. So just thinking of those things, I would ease into a solo and see what type of ideas, what type of thing is the song wanting to say. Now, that's something else. I'm trying, one of my goals that I'm trying to uh, do as a songwriter, as well as a, a, a instrumentalist and solo artist, I'm trying to pay attention to what is the song saying? What is the song trying to say or what is the song trying to convey? That's been something that's been the forefront of my mind uh, for a good while now as I've been creating and writing a lot more music for my album and all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to be aware of where the music is trying to go. And so these are some things that I'm paying attention to what I'm trying to say musically, where's the music trying to go, 
Am I repeating phrases over and over again and just being aware of what's happening as I'm playing? So, so these are just some things personally for me that I've been working on to improve my plan. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Let me know what things are you working on to currently improve your plan? What is your goal? What are your goals? What are you trying to reach? What questions are you asking? in order to look up your next lesson on YouTube? I mean, what things are you looking to improve? Or is it just, I'm trying to learn all the chops, I'm trying to learn all of the bass riffs, or I'm trying to learn how to play more pocket? What is it you're after? What's the end goal for you? Remember guys, if you want the full lesson, click the link in the description. I'll see you guys on next week. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And listen, if you enjoyed the content, click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on my notifications so you can be notified each week once I post a new video. I really appreciate you guys being here and check it out. If you want more content like this and if you want to get even more in depth on the bass lessons, remember to head over to jermainemorgan.net. There I have many more bass lessons. I talk a little bit more in depth on some of these subjects that we've covered here on YouTube and I also have music. Most of you don't know, but I am an artist as well. So I do have music available there if you want to hear me really play. <laughs> I have music there, so check it out, and I will see you guys on next week. Thank you. I'm out of here.